First two words I actually learned before I even knew how to buy or sell was two words, risk management. Keep watching to learn more. What's up YouTube, this your boy Modi back with another video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about one of the most important things. If you actually want to go ahead and be in these markets that you must understand, all right? So we are gonna be talking about what is risk management, how to manage your risk, how to determine your lot size, and the most important thing you must manage. So first of all, what you need to realize is risk to reward is the most important thing you must determine before ever taking any execution on any price action chart. You should always have a predetermined risk and a predetermined reward before actually entering or exiting any positions. Looking at risk to reward, we understand if we were running a position that had a 10 pip stop loss and your, and your reward was 50 pips, all right? Now, what does that actually mean? Risk to reward ratio wise, that is going to be a one to five. Now, that's extremely relevant when getting in there. How do we manage risk? Why is this important when we are trading? I want to break down to you guys the significant and getting that tighter stop loss why is it relevant and the difference between somebody who managed their risk properly and somebody who doesn't? In that GPUSD chart, I want to go over taking an execution and how to determine your risk to reward before actually executing. First of all, we're going to put this in replay mode and take away the price action to the right. All right. Now, over here, as you guys can see in this area right here, you see how the market was moving sideways and how the institution came in play and they went ahead and ran it. Um, the market to the upside and ran up these high and take liquidity and how you see how the institution play away from it all right now i want you to write this down when the banks are always um looking to sell the market what they do they do the up move before the down move and when they're looking to buy they do the down move before the up move as you can see right here how the banks went up first and then they shifted to the downside all right so um what we want to do we want to go ahead and break down we want to go ahead and break down this area on a one minute time frame so we can get the best precise entry with a tight of a stop loss as we possibly can. So I'm going to drop down to a one minute chart so I can identify what's actually going on in this area right here. So identifying price action within this area on a one minute chart is going to be the absolute best precision we're going to get. So look at this area right here. We know when the market is moving sideways, consolidating, it's building up liquidity. We know that how the markets are selling before they sell, they can do the up move before the down move. All right, now you can see right here how the market was consolidating the zone right here. We saw how the up move before the down move. Now this is this is the area where market went ahead and broke these lows right here. We're going to take this this area body to body, all right, and we're gonna draw out the entire position, all right. Now, drawing this out, what we're simply looking for is to execute within this area, right, where they stop right above the highs, all right? So, let's just say we take an execution right at the close of this candlestick right here. So, that's going to be about 1.41500 for us right there. So playing price action forward. So now that we have determined our execution area and our stops determined, now you can see that we have a tight stop loss. All right. And this position will be running about a, a nine, 10 pip stop loss on this trade, a 10 pip stop loss. All right. Being that all its price action in, in the past should be healthy. Now take a look. If it's slow, it will grow. If it's fast, it won't last. Now, coming back into this area to clear up the, all of this imbalance that, that the market curated, we shouldn't trade above this, these highs being bullish if the past is, is healthy. So now that we have got our entry and our stop determined, now we're going to jump on our one-hour chart to determine where, where our actual targets are going to be for this position. So looking at our one-hour price action chart, we can see the imbalance we're going to execute at so um, where I want you to draw your attention to is going to be this institutional move down here. All right. So as we noted earlier, 
the up move before the down move. Now over here too, the down move before the up move. So what we're simply going to do, we are going to just go ahead and draw out this area from body to body, all right? And we're just gonna draw this out. I'm just gonna draw this out. So in this area, this is going to be where my first targets are going to be at, all right? So why did I, I target it here? Because all of these imbalances that's in the market, always keep in mind the markets always have to come back down and fill in the imbalance and curate it. So the market has to come back down and fill in this imbalance before it actually does any actual massive movements. All right. So looking at this, we know that we execute in here with a stop loss right here. We have a 10 pip stop loss and we look into, uh, we look into target down here. So let's do reward ratio wise. We want to go ahead and click on our tool right here. Now we know we have a long position and short position. Obviously, the, obviously we know that we're going ahead and taking shorts on this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on short position. I'm going to go ahead and place it right our entry right there and the stop loss right at these highs right there, a temp stop loss, something like. And our targets, I'm going to go ahead and target right the top of this area right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this play out and let's see what happens. Now, as you guys can see how we had a sniper entry and it ran directly into our targets. All right, so now what I want to go over with you guys is why it's important to have this type of position in the markets and how to compound your account a lot faster than others. Now, let's go over how we determine our lot size based on our predetermined risk. Now, how do we determine our lot size from our predetermined risk reward? I've seen a lot of people, they generally determine their lot size based off of their account balance. Now, I'm not saying that's wrong. I personally need to determine my lot size based off the amount I'm willing to risk and my predetermined stops. I'm trading on the position I'm taking, which is going to be different because of different assets and a different position I'm executing on. So I'm going to go ahead and put my screen right here. So um, let's say we have two traders. All right. Each trader has a thousand dollar account. All right. And each trader is willing to risk. 2% of their account. All right. So now let's do the math real quick. All right. A thousand dollars. All right. Times 0 0.02. All right. That is going to give us $20. All right. So each trader is willing to risk the maximum amount of $20 on any position they take. Trader number one. He is running a five pip, a five pip stop loss. Now let's say trader number two. He is running a ten pip stop loss. So we have a five pip stop loss for our first trader, and we have a ten pip stop loss on for our second trader. So I'm going to show you guys how to adjust your lot size based off your stop loss. And why position is key in this game. So the math behind all of this is gonna be dollar amount you're willing to risk divided by your stop loss. Then it's going to give you the dollar amount of your lot size. All right. So the dollar amount you're risking divided by your stop loss number is going to give you the dollar amount. Of your lot size all right the dollar amount of your lot size but let's do the math so trader number one we know he's willing to risk twenty dollars all right so twenty dollars now stop loss is five pips so we're gonna go ahead 20 divided by five all right that is going to go ahead and leave us with be four dollars so, so 20 divided by five equals four dollars like lot size but that is going to be all right a 0 0.40 now, trader number two is also willing to risk $20 divided by a 10 pip stop loss. All right. Now, now that equals, all right, $2. All right. That equals $2. So, lot size wise, 
that is going to be a 0 0.20. So one thing I want you to you guys to realize, I want you guys to realize is $20 risk divided by our stop loss, it gave us our lot size. Our account balance should not determine your lot size, all right? Your account balance should never determine your lot size. So why precision is key in this game. One thing I want you to realize looking at these two traders, for trader number one, for every five pips he is accumulating, he is making $20 or or be 2% of his account. For trader number two, he has to accumulate 10 pips in his direction in order to make $20 or be 2% of his account. So trader number one will actually compound his account a lot more faster than trader number two just because they focus on that precise entry and that tight stop loss, all right? So it's really, really important to have this type of knowledge in your trading game. It's gonna help you advance a lot quicker and faster. Now, last but not least, the most important thing you want to manage, in my opinion, is you. You must learn to properly manage yourself before managing any position in these markets. That goes back to your emotions. It goes back to managing yourself. We all know you should have your trading journal out and ready documenting your positions. All right? Documenting your, um, your emotions. Documenting your emotion while executing. All right? Noting, noting the emotion, how you felt. When you executed that trade, noting the emotion, how you felt when you look at your phone and you was in drawdown. All right, noting your emotions, how you felt when you was in profit. All right, so you will soon, you will actually soon notice on paper how your emotions actually controlling your trading game. All right, so that's it for me today. All right, if you found this video informative, all right, go ahead and drop a comment and like down below, and don't forget to subscribe. All right. Much love family, peace out.